welcome. Come on in, come on in. Welcome over to fall. Welcome to the fall side. Hello, fall 2023. Get from behind the palm tree. Retire the flip-flops. Retire the slides and the chancletas. Get rid of them, okay? Put the margarita down. It is time for a pumpkin latte with a double shot of caramel or whatever y'all say because i do not drink coffee or anything like that but welcome to fall and welcome to today's video guys in today's video i want to help y'all prepare for your fall fragrances i know it's a tough time it's a tough time for many of us okay but we gonna get through it summer is over it is over all right it's gone it's over by god's grace we're gonna see another summer next year but for right now, we are in fall mode, okay? As y'all can see, I got my fall colors on, my fall nails. It's fall, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some fall designer fragrances. Y'all know I have a whole lot of fall content for y'all here on this channel. We have a niche fragrance video that's gonna come in about a week. So just hang tight. But today I wanna share with you my fall fragrances that I will be wearing and I'm also suggesting them to you as well. So if you wanna know the designer fragrances that I'm excited to wear this fall, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So y'all, it wouldn't be a video from me if I didn't have some honorable mentions. So I'm a layering girl, I'm a body care girl, you guys know that. So I wanna start off with the Nest South Pacific Sandalwood Perfumed Oil. It's a perfume oil, I use this as a body oil. I take it, I put some squirts into my body cream and I have a sandalwood body cream and I love it. You can put it on your pulse points. You can wear this as a fragrance if you want to. If you love the scent of a creamy sandalwood, I feel like you'll love this. But if you're like me and you want it all over your body, trust me, it is amazing when you put it in some unscented lotion and just, you know, put a couple of drops in your hand, rub it all together and get it all over your body and layer with your fragrances. With your niche fragrances, designer fragrances that are more fruity floral and you want to add some woodiness to it in the base, this is amazing. So it's the Nest South Pacific Sandalwood Perfume Oil, but I use it as a body oil. Now, a body spray that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is by Sol de Janeiro. It's the newer one. It's the After Hours Body Spray. Y'all, I love this. It doesn't smell like a body spray to me. It smells like a fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap to me. I love how this smells, y'all. It's so good. People say it smells like flower bomb. I can get Flower Bomb a little bit, but not really. Like, if Flower Bomb was gourmand, maybe it would smell like this. But it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. So this is another one if you like layering or if you're someone that doesn't like wearing fragrances to bed. Because I know a lot of you guys tell me that you don't like wearing perfume to bed. If you're the person that wears a scented body cream and a body spray, this is a nice one to wear in the house, wear to bed, or you can layer with your other fragrances. So After Hours by Sol de Janeiro. So now let's get into the list, y'all. When I tell y'all that y'all are the real MVPs, I love y'all, okay? Like, make no mistake about it. But one in particular, so I premiered my video on Thursday. No, on Tuesday, I premiered my video and in my trailer, the night before my video premieres, um, one of my subbies saw something that I said in a video about the Donna Born in Roma PP perfume that it was sold out. Y'all done sold a perfume out as soon as it hit America. So she was like, oh, it's at Kohl's. I think, I think she said she got hers at Kohl's or either she saw it at Kohl's, but she was letting me know it was at Kohl's. I never ever think to go on Kohl's. Like I go to Kohl's to the Sephora at Kohl's, but I never think to go on Kohl's.com to the Sephora on Kohl's.com. It's always just sephora for me so when i went into sephora and the pp perfume was gone i was like it's gone forever i'm never gonna get it like it is what it is and so when she said go to kohl's i went to the kohl's website and lo and behold 
I saw the Valentino PP perfume. So I ordered it right away. Before my video even premiered, y'all, I ordered the fragrance and I did a pickup the next day. And it was the last one for pickup. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this fragrance. Now, typically, I wouldn't be suggesting this fragrance for the fall for somebody else. But I'm going to be wearing it in the fall and I'm going to tell you why. Because this fragrance is sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. It's the different... It goes in a different direction from my usual typical fall scents, which is like a little smoky, a little spicy, um, a little woody. This is like the change. On the days that I want to smell just sweet and super feminine, this is the fragrance I'm going to wear. Y'all, I love it. Okay? I'm going to tell y'all what it smells like. <sighs> this smells like Love Don't Be Shy, Oriana, and the original Valentino Donna they all had a love child, and it's Donna, born in Roma, pink pee pee. <laughs> she smells like a cross between those three fragrances. And you guys know, if you watch this channel, you know I love that scent profile. When it comes to that love, don't be shy DNA, I literally have to stop myself from purchasing fragrances that smell like it because I don't need any more. But here's the thing. It smells like it, but it still smells like the Donna, born in Roma DNA, but still different enough for me to have this y'all i have no regrets the bottle is beautiful now the bottle is different from what they're showing online online it looks completely opaque like an opaque hot pink as you guys can see it's not opaque but it's still really pretty and the scent like i love this y'all it kind of dries down to it opens up fruity right i'm gonna tell y'all the notes but it opens up and smells super sweet and fruity and then it dries down to like um cotton not cotton candy i'm like a marshmallow type of scent like a creamy marshmallow scent with like no fruitiness at all on my skin donna born in roma the original it's fruity and it stays fruity the entire time and dries down to like a fruity vanilla fragrance this is fruity in the opening and dries down to a creamy marshmallow fragrance either way i love it i feel like the original donna born in roma on my skin is louder but here's the thing, I've had my Donna Born in Roma, I had that fragrance since 2020, early 2020 before lockdown, because I purchased that fragrance myself in Macy's before all the stores closed in March. So I might've got that fragrance in like January or February of 2020. I'm only at this much, like I just have a little bit left. That fragrance has been sitting, needless to say, for years, for like three years. This is a brand new fragrance. I'm not going to compare the two because I know somebody going to ask me, but it's not going to be a fair comparison because this is a new fragrance. I literally just sprayed it, like not today, but just for the past couple of days, I've been spraying it. So this needs to sit a little bit, at least for a few months to really you know, macerate and do what it's going to do and let all the, you know, the notes and all the juices mesh together so I can be able to compare it fairly. But right now it's not going to be a fair comparison because this is a new fragrance, but I love it. And I spent a lot of time on it. Let me say the notes real, real quick. It opens up with mandarin orange, orange blossom and bourbon vanilla. Now, when it comes to designer fragrances, you're always going to hear people say, oh, I smelled it and it wasn't groundbreaking. It didn't do anything for me. It wasn't, you know, whatever. When I go into buying a designer fragrance, I don't go into it thinking it's about to be groundbreaking. It's about to blow my mind. Like, no, if it does, great. <laughs> You know, a win-win, that's a plus. But I'm going into it knowing it's going to smell like a lot of other designer fragrances. I'm going into it knowing that I saw the notes before I got the fragrance. So I kind of pretty much have an idea of what it's going to smell like. I'm going into it knowing that it's a mass appealing scent. That's what designer fragrances are. They're to please the masses. And I don't mind. I'm a part of the masses. I don't mind being pleased. So when I'm smelling designer fragrances like this, I'm not going in it thinking it's about to blow my mind and be the best fragrance ever in life. Like, no. But it is a cute fragrance and I'm so glad that I have it. So Valentina Donna Born in Roma Pink PP. Next up by Replica, we have Coffee Break. Now guys, this fragrance isn't going to be for a lot of people if you like the scent of strong coffee in your fragrances. And when you hear Coffee Break, you're thinking, ooh, coffee, like this is about to give me my coffee life. If you're the type of person that likes to smell coffee in your fragrances. Now me, on the other hand, 
I don't like to smell coffee in my fragrances like that. It can be in there a little bit. I don't mind a little coffee because coffee does do something to fragrances. But if you're looking for a strong coffee scent, this ain't the one for you. Cause you're gonna get like spicy in this fragrance. You're gonna get a little coffee, like a little hint of coffee. You're gonna get lavender in this fragrance. This is a really pretty fragrance. It's fall for me. Like a crispy fall day with a chunky scarf. It's not that cold, but it's starting to feel cold. Like not cold, but a little crispy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know that crispy feeling when it's not nice outside for you to wear a t-shirt, but it's not cold enough for you to wear a coat. It's just that little, like, I'm about to wear a long sleeve shirt and a scarf and keep it pushing. That's the kind of weather that I imagine with this fragrance. So this has pepper, orange blossom, patchouli, lavender, coffee, milk, tonka bean, benzoin, cypriol, vanilla, and vetiver. So y'all heard milk. It's not a lactonic fragrance at all. There's nothing creamy or milky about this fragrance. It's very fresh and airy and light, but you still smell a little spices. You smell the vanilla, you smell the lavender. It is a really, really gorgeous scent. Like I said, if you're looking for a strong coffee fragrance, this ain't it. You won't be disappointed. You're gonna get the lavender in this fragrance. You're gonna get the orange blossom in this fragrance with a little, little hint of coffee somewhere far, like far in the back, like she back there somewhere, <laughs> but she's not the star of the show although it's coffee break you know what i'm saying but it's perfect for a nice crispy it's about to get cold fall day so coffee break by margella next up by gucci we have gucci guilty absolute pour femme y'all this is a gucci fragrance that i will always have in my collection this smells so good it smells like rose it smells a little boozy, but I don't think there's any boozy notes listed in this fragrance. And there's no rose listed in this fragrance. Oh yes, there's Bulgarian rose listed. So blackberry, Bulgarian rose, and olden wood. But it smells like a super strong rosy fragrance, like a boozy rose. Almost like champagne-y. Kind of like they, she could be cousins with um, Dom Rosa a little bit. It's given that kind of vibe. Y'all, this is such a beautiful fragrance. I don't think it's everywhere. Like, it's not in Sephora. It's not at Macy's. I'm going to link it because it is at, I want to say, either Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom or something like that. But it's not everywhere. And I feel like this should be everywhere because it is a beautiful fragrance. To me, this is better than all the Gucci... Um, What's the ones in a pink bottle that is everywhere? That Sephora, uh, Macy's, Neiman Market. Like everywhere Gucci fragrances are sold, those fragrances are. Um, damn, I forgot the name of them. I had one, the Tuberose Heavy Fragrance, and I decluttered it because I just couldn't. But this fragrance right here, this is a gorgeous fragrance. I'm telling y'all, another fall vibes. It's not too cold outside, but it's getting crispy. The leaves are changing. You can do like a date night in this fragrance, date day. It is a very versatile scent and I love it, y'all. I mean, I never wanna be out of this fragrance. I feel like I'm gonna buy it back up because I don't know if they are trying to fade this out. Ooh, and one of my subbies sent me a photo on Instagram that they have a Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme Extreme or Le Parfum or something like that. So there's a new version to it and I'm excited to smell it because I do love this. So I wanna see what that one is gonna give. So we gonna see, but for right now, I just love this y'all. And if you love that effervescent, like kinda like Dom Rose, a little cousin, kinda smell champagne-y, kinda smell boozy, heavy on the rose, but not like a sharp, stuffy, like old rose. It's like a young, fresh, fruity, juicy, jammy rose. It even gives me vibes of um, Byredo, Rose of No Man's Land. It's kind of like the same family, like Rose of No Man's Land and Dom Rosa mixed together is going to give you this fragrance. I'm telling y'all, this is everything. Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme. Next up, we have a fragrance by Dior Privé that I am so glad I finally bit the bullet on, and that's Ombre Nui. Y'all, this fragrance is so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness, y'all don't even understand how good this smells to me. So I told y'all in my vlog, if you don't watch my vlogs, I'm trying to figure out why, because if y'all wanna get to know me, you should watch my vlogs, okay? But I mentioned in the vlog that 
this fragrance it was a toss-up when i purchased my feb delicios which i've since decluttered and given to bay because it smells amazing on him but i was going back and forth between this and feb and i ended up getting feb because everybody on youtube was talking about it and it was one of those fomo moments like i'm missing out i have to love this like this is the thing like everybody loves this so why don't i love it you know what i'm saying and I purchased it and I did not like it on myself. I actually hated it on myself. It made me nauseous. Like, I've never had a fragrance that made me sick. Like, physically feeling like I want to throw up. And it was that fragrance on me. But when I smell it on Bay, I absolutely love it on him. But this right here, y'all, this is everything. And the crazy thing is, I hear from other women um, that it smells masculine to them and masculine on them. And I mean, if you guys are no stranger here, you know I do not do masculine scents. Well, in my opinion, I don't know. But somebody said this smells masculine to them. A couple of people actually said that. But to me, it is so sexy. It is so sexy. I don't know if it's masculine or not. I just know it smells amazing on me. It has like a little smoky, like a hint of like burning wood in the background, but in the best way possible. It's kind of sweet, but not like a fruity sweet. Let me tell y'all the notes. It opens up with bergamot, grapefruit, rose, pink pepper, ambergris, cedar, gaiac wood, and patchouli. And I'm probably getting that burning wood <laughs> from the gaiac wood. There's also cedar wood in here as well. And there's patchouli. And the crazy thing is, a lot of the Dior Privé fragrances have patchouli in it. But however the patchouli is done or wherever they get in that patchouli, it is such a smoother, more to tolerable uh, patchouli for me. Because there's some patchoulis that I simply cannot do. But there's some patchoulis that just add that extra grit to the fragrance that it needs. And this one right here, to me, is excellent so ombre nui by dior next on the list by tom ford is a fragrance that i could not wait to get at the beginning of the year this was my first fragrance of 2023 y'all this is cherry smoke like if you love lost cherry i feel like how could you not love cherry smoke this is so beautiful pricey af it is pricey af but it is so good y'all it's lost cherry but more smoky but not super smoky not smoky like the killian um smoking hot it's not smoky like that because i don't want anything smoky like that on my skin but this fragrance right here is just a beautiful sweet just a sophisticated hint of just smoke you know what i mean just a little smoke in the air but it smells so classy and so sexy and like lost cherry and you guys know i love lost cherry so there's dark cherry osmanthus cipriol there's saffron sour cherry olive leather woody notes and smoke y'all it's the saffron for me i'm sorry it is a saffron for me oh it is so sexy y'all it's lost cherry but because it's still bright like when you smell it it's super bright and smells like lost cherry but then it just has this super sexy mid and on the dry down even sexier oh my goodness y'all this is so good very pricey so i'm not telling y'all to go get this i'm gonna link everything that i'm talking about in this video but i'm just telling y'all what i will be wearing this fall if you choose to take uh my advice and want to get one of these or whatever it that's on you okay but i know for me the cherry smoke is that girl so cherry smoke by tom ford next up by ysl it's my favorite libre and it's libre le parfum Y'all, this fragrance, another fragrance that's so super sexy. This is why I love fall and winter fragrances because they just give all the sexy. Like, even when you're not trying to be sexy, like, you just run into the grocery store or the post office, but you're gonna smell sexy. You know what I'm saying? And by default, because all of these fragrances are pretty much sexy. These fragrances have fruity notes and saffron and smoke and spices and vanilla and they are so sexy and it just fits the season like literally when i smell this i just want to wear a chunky sweater and go to a pumpkin patch and take some pictures on a farm like that's what i want to do in this fragrance and i feel like we have a farm trip coming up and i might wear this fragrance i think i'm going to do libre yeah i think i'm going to do her because she's so super sexy but still very 
festive like it just smells like the holiday but in the best way possible not like a pumpkin perfume or like a douche de leche or douce de leche cinnamon perfume it just smells like a classy rich sexy af fall fragrance and i'm obsessed so it opens up with ginger and saffron of course there's mandarin orange bergamot orange blossom lavender bourbon vanilla honey tonka and vetiver super sexy it lasts forever on my skin i don't have any performance issues with this this has been sitting for about a year now and i wore it the other day and when i tell you this lasted on me like it was damn near like eight hours like i was still smelling this on my skin and smelling it strong and i was like wow like when i first got it i don't remember it performing this well and it probably didn't because like i said with new fragrances especially new designer fragrances y'all they cranking out these fragrances like i mean it's about to be the end of the world like they just cranking them out so they're not sitting long enough to be macerated how they should be so once you get them open them spray them and then you know let it sit for a couple of months even one month at least and like you know four weeks and then you know the fragrance will start to do what it's supposed to do but if you first get the fragrance you you know bust it out the cellophane and you spray it and you're like oh it doesn't last on me the performance is horrible yeah it's gonna be because they're cranking out these fragrances so you just never know let the fragrance sit for a little while there's some fragrances that as soon as you spray them it's going to give you that optimum performance but some fragrances won't and don't hold it against the fragrance because hold it against the companies because they just like every week it's a new fragrance like it's a new fragrance i cannot keep up but this one right here y'all it was sitting for about a year the performance is amazing on my skin no i haven't smelled the new one the bottle is pretty but i'm not even interested in it like I have three of these. I don't I don't need four. I'm sure it smells good. But for me, it's the Le Parfum, the Intense, and the Original. But for fall, it's definitely the Le Parfum. The Intense is going to be in a fall video because I know somebody's going to ask me. It's going to be in a fall video. I have a bunch of fall content. So if you don't see fragrances in this video, you will see them coming up. I don't want to be redundant and keep repeating the same fragrances in y'all's faces. So just know that you're going to see them at some point. I love them. I'm wearing them. It is what it is. Yasa Libre Le Parfum. Next up by Burberry, we have my strawberry shortcake, strawberry pound cake, strawberry pie, strawberry milkshake dessert. It is amazing, okay? I love this. I loved Burberry hers. The first one I smelled was the Intense. Loved it. Then I smelled the, and I own it. <laughs> then I smelled the EDT, no, the EDP. Love it, own it. Then I smelled the EDT love it own it and now this and i have to say this is my favorite and it's my favorite because it's so much more intense i just love it y'all it literally smells like a strawberry milkshake to me and the longer i have it the longer it sits it smells more like a strawberry milkshake every day like every time i smell it i'm like oh my goodness it is so potent like super potent through the nozzle it's so potent it's so creamy when you wear it. It smells incredible. Compliment magnet. People smell this. It is a beast. What I don't like about this fragrance is that I can't see my juice. Can I see it? No, this bottle is completely opaque. Like, they literally want you out here shaking it to see, you know, how much juice you have left. But that's my only qualm. I wish this part right here, they just had like a glass panel just so we can see our juice. Like, I'm going to need these people who's creating these fragrances to speak to fragrance influencers and reviewers and like know what the people want like you guys probably don't even wear fragrances i feel like a lot of these people they don't even wear fragrances but we that wear fragrances and love fragrances we want to see our juice okay give us a little panel just a little panel so we can see our juice please <laughs> beverly her elixir okay did somebody say sweet long lasting beast mode compliment magnet did somebody say that because i think i heard that because if you did here she is right here this is your sweet syrupy sweet sexy af long lasting af compliment beast of a fragrance armani c intense y'all i bought this fragrance when it first came out i smelled it 
no hesitation it was coming home with me i have the original and i kind of went back and forth with that i had a moment with the original i bought it because I loved it in store, took it home, and I was like, mm, it's doing something funky on my skin, something green is coming out, and I returned it. And then I had a sample of it and smelled the sample and was like, why did I return this again? And purchased it back. So I do love that fragrance, but honestly, when they came out with the Intense, the Intense is everything that I need, okay? This, I will repurchase because it smells so good to me. The original, I won't repurchase. I'm gonna finish that one and keep it pushing. You know, we had a time, it is what it is. But this one right here, y'all, this is so good. It's so sexy. It lasts so long on the skin. It smells different. It doesn't smell like every other designer fragrance. It's not gonna remind you of Prada Paradox. It's not gonna remind you of Valentino, Donna Born and Roma. It's not gonna remind you of any of those fragrances. It smells like its own fragrance. It's very classy, very sophisticated. It doesn't smell cheap. I'm obsessed, okay? It opens up with black currant syrup. Like I said, very syrupy, very sweet. Turkish rose, but it's not that sharp, wet rose. It's a sweet rose. Oh my goodness. Divana, benzoin, and patchouli. And the Divana is only in there to balance out all that sweet from the black currant syrup and the Turkish rose. So if you're afraid of green notes and patchouli and things like that, don't be afraid because it's just there to balance it, y'all. When you see certain notes, don't think that note is going to necessarily stand out. The note is literally in there to balance everything out. Like if you make pasta, like if you cook, and sometimes the acidicness of all the tomatoes from the sauce and the tomato paste, this, that, and the third. If you add a little sugar in it, it'll kind of like balance out all that acidity from the tomatoes and all that that you got going on in the sauce. I'm telling you. So that's how the Divana works in this fragrance and how certain notes work in other fragrances that you guys will see the note and be like, mm, no, I don't like that. It's just there to balance it out, y'all. Like, don't don't worry. Like, the Divana is not the star of this show. Neither is the patchouli. This lasts so long on the skin and patchouli is a note that helps fragrances to last forever on your skin. Trust and believe me, patchouli makes fragrances last very long on your skin. But this right here, y'all, this is so good. This is so beautiful. I love this. Armani C Intense. So we not about to tussle, all right? Like, I'm not about to do it with y'all today. Black Opium, the original, is on this list, okay? This is a perfect fall scent. It's a perfect designer fall scent. There's no way I was gonna have a fall designer fragrance video and not feature the good girl Black Opium, okay? I'm sorry. Coffee, white florals, and vanilla. She's not for everybody, but she's for me, okay? I love this fragrance. Now, will I repurchase it? When this bottle is done, no. This is like my third bottle of Black Opium. And this is a gift from Bay. I was wearing Black Opium before I met him. And then when we met, I had Black Opium and he sees that I loved it. So he purchased this for me like early on in our relationship. And I love it, y'all. It smells really good. But I gotta say this. The Black Opium Le Parfum, she crushing you. <laughs> She is crushing the original, y'all. That fragrance smells so good. You still smell the DNA of black opium. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You still smell like, hmm, is this black opium or not? But the vanilla is literally taking over in that fragrance. So if you love vanilla, then the black opium Le Parfum is for you. I love that. But... I mean, it just wouldn't be right if I didn't show her some love in this video because I will be wearing her. She does have a little bit of a dent from the last time you all have seen her. So I am wearing her. But, um, you know, after this, she, you know, we had a time. It was good, okay? And it's going to be that. But I love this fragrance and it's perfect for the fall. Like I said, coffee, white florals, and vanilla. It is beautiful. Black Opium, the original. Next on the list by Christian Louboutin is one of my favorite sandalwood fragrances and it's Luby Croc. Y'all, this fragrance was love at first sniff. It's super expensive, but I smelled this and I had to have it. It is so good, it's so creamy. It's almost like an edible gourmand sandalwood fragrance. It is so good. If you love creamy, smooth, sweet sandalwood, 
you will absolutely love and be obsessed with this fragrance this has myrrh cypriol and sandalwood y'all it is so amazing it lasts long on my skin it is a compliment getter it's a super sexy fragrance you can dress this fragrance all the way up you can wear it dressed down if you want to i would not wear this in the house i would not wear this to bed it's not one of those fragrances this is a i'm going outside the house okay I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if it's a, a little lunch or a, we going to the farm. We going apple picking. I'm not sure where we going, but we're leaving the house. This is not to be worn in the house by me. It is so good, y'all. So sexy, so creamy. Like I said, it's expensive, but it's worth it to me because it smells different. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like it. It's a designer fragrance, but it's definitely on your higher, high, high, high end of designer fragrances because, like I said, this retails for over $300. It is very expensive, but it's so beautiful. Nothing like I have in my collection. Nothing like I've ever smelled before. I love a smooth, creamy sandalwood. It is so yummy. I'm obsessed with this scent. Luby Croc by Christian Louboutin. Last but certainly not least is another Tom Ford fragrance, and it's Metallique y'all this fragrance can be worn all year round i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i've worn this fragrance in the winter spring summer and fall but when i smell it it just smells like fall vibes to me it smells like plaid <laughs> it smells like scarves it smells like fluffy boots like it's so beautiful but what it actually smells like is a powdery cold metallic type of scent it is so good it's aldehydic it's different i mean i love this i love the bottle i love how it smells it's unique to my collection honestly it kind of gives me the same type of vibe as um abracadabra but i had this first i owned this first and then i purchased abracadabra by kriegler but they share a lot of the same notes and they're a little similar. So when I smelled Abracadabra, you know, although it was like a beautiful scent to me, like Holy Grail, End All Be All. When I first smelled this, I was like, wow, because at the time I hadn't smelled anything like this. Nothing super aldehydic, nothing super powdery. This was the first in my collection. And I feel like I have so many nostalgic memories with this y'all this smells so good this is definitely a sweater weather type of fragrance although it's cold and not warm it's not like a warm spicy cozy caramel type of scent but it still has a fall vibe to it 1000 percent so this opens up with aldehydes there's bergamot pink pepper lily of the valley ambrette vanilla and sandalwood super powdery super aldehydic kind of cold it has like a medley vibe to it the name and the bottle is like pretty much what the fragrance smells like it is so good y'all so unique you can layer with other fragrances you can wear it on its own it is a beautiful beautiful scent metallic by tom ford all right guys you made it to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some fragrances that you guys are excited to wear this fall like i said before this is not all of my fall content fall is gonna be for like a good two months okay I have content for you guys so if you didn't see fragrances in this video you'll see them in the next video okay because I have content upon content upon content for y'all for the fall so let's talk about it below like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness AI the great signing out but I'll see you in my next video peace